mine. One of the greatest gifts I think that I found for myself is the possibility of saying, this doesn't belong to me. This isn't mine. This isn't my energy. And what that will do is it will shift me higher into my vibration. So I'm not letting somebody bring my, my vibration down. So when we're looking at mindfulness, what we want to do is to be able to take greater responsibility. So the greater health and fitness program that we have is allowing you responsibility of why are you experiencing the imbalance with your weight. And the weight could be weight gain or weight loss. So the quantum biofeedback weight loss program isn't just about losing weight, it's about losing weight. <laughs> it's literally about getting rid of those energies that you have clung to. And I really, you know, I've been doing this for 17 years. And when I began to lose the weight so rapid is when it really clicked on me of all of the things that I was like hanging on to in my life that I had not transformed. So I had to look at those things on the device and ask myself, why do I not want those transformed? Why am I hanging on to those? And then by asking those questions and running the device, I was able to get the answers I needed to let it go and to transmute it. So it's not always about letting it go too, so I wanna clarify that. Because how many times have you said, oh, I just let that go, but then three weeks later, the same issue shows up. Right? So we had that happen <laughs> last night. She, there was a, a friend of mine that says, oh, I just completely let it go. I let it go. Well, then why are you bringing it back up? Right? So that's what happens. So that's what's happening with women who are losing weight, and then they gain it all back. They lose it, and they gain it all back. But here's the other thing. So we all want to be a millionaire, or maybe not. Maybe we just want a little extra money, and then we see somebody who wins the lottery, and then a year later, they lose all their money. So there was a state of consciousness that they were able to align to that allowed that to happen. But in order to maintain their wealth and prosperity, there was some real work they needed to do to maintain the frequency. So everything is about your vibration level. So if there's something in your life, and you'll see it with people who, they get a brand new job, right? They're really excited about the new job, and they're like, hey, this is a new beginning for my life, and you can start feeling that energy like go way out, like all of a sudden you're like, uh-oh. Okay, they've got the new job, great, and happy for them, but then a month later, they don't have that job anymore. So they, they were not able to stabilize the frequency. So the biofeedback also helps us to stabilize the energy. So let me sh share with you what the biofeedback does. It scans and it's reading. So it's scanning your energy and it's reading it. And there's levels that are coming up in our panels. So there's things like sensitivities, there's risks, there's injuries, silvegio tones, chakras, your aura. So when it scans this, it's measuring it against what is your highest potential. Not what your son's highest potential is, but what your highest potential is. Because in each, in each one of us, we each have that highest potential that's safest for us. So my life doesn't look like your life because my highest potential is where I feel safe, right? And some people might not feel safe when in the lottery, right? Or having that nice, cushy job. Some people might not feel really good about losing weight. But being able to understand that allows them to say, you know what, I, I've decided that it's okay for me to vibrate at a higher level. I've decided that I'm worthy of this life that I want. And by deciding that, by just simply deciding it and then accepting it, we begin to move that energy. It doesn't have to happen all at one time. We begin to move that energy. So what the scans and the reading is going to do, it's going to pick up your imbalances that are preventing you from obtaining your highest good. And it's not measured against Mary Jane's highest good. Okay? Then it's going to also pick up the stresses. Like, what's stressing you out? So as a metaphysician, let's say when um, risks show up, or phobias, I love phobias, and I 
a lot of practitioners, like, they'll say, well, wait a minute, I'm not afraid of flying. Well, flying has nothing to do with actually getting an airplane. It could manifest as that, right? But the cause is, the cause is that they're afraid to lift off. They're afraid to ascend. They're afraid to reach higher potential. So when I look at the biofeedback, I'm looking at as the metaphysical tool that it is, that if you have a fear of flying show up, I immediately understand that you have a stress of reaching higher, of letting go, of ascending. And then I work with that stress, I work with that imbalance by bringing greater consciousness, and we do that through let's talk about this and I give them a metaphysical concept of it so that now they have a greater awareness that is preventing their highest potential so when I increase my awareness I have a shift in consciousness and my reality has to follow that so that's very important to hear you cannot have a shift in your reality you're going to continue to see the echoes, right? It's like an echo. So it's like this. If I'm not able to maintain having a brand new job and I tell my cousin Joe, hey, I got a brand new job, right? I got a great, a great new job. And then Joe's energy comes in and brings me down, then I've allowed that to affect me. So that's an echo. He's telling me, oh, you're not, you don't have the education to do that job. Who do you think you are? So that's an echo. And I'm sure all of you have experienced that where you've told somebody, and this happens with weight loss a lot. You know, you got, so when I started losing my weight, I started losing it really fast because of what I was doing on the system. And I'm not going to explain to you what I do. But I started losing it really fast. And I noticed when I come in, you know, people were kind of tiptoeing around me, you know, they weren't saying anything, even with people that I've worked with for two years. So I was wondering, Okay, you've got to be seeing this, right? They were afraid to say anything because they thought I was sick. They were like, oh my God, I wonder if her girl is sick. I wonder if she has cancer. So thank goodness that I didn't hear that until after somebody said, how much weight have you lost? And I told them, and then that's when they said, I was afraid to say anything because I thought you were sick. That would have been an echo if it was being said to me on a daily basis. Now, so because I am, you know, helping other people with this, I also do a lot of research. So I decided to get on Facebook and join some groups of women, whether they were weight loss, uh, what is it, Weight Watchers, uh, Paleo, or Keto, whatever it was, I just joined the group to find out what the conversations were that were going on. What kind of conversations were they? having with each other and I was floored at how women do not support one another and it broke my heart I mean literally I sat there and I was like how did we get here how is it that we got here that we feel so crappy about our own life that we're constantly bringing someone else down right so when I when I shared with somebody I said no 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 She's good. She's she's losing the weight. She's doing really good because what they were doing is was condemning this woman of how fast her weight loss was coming on. And I said, no, I did the same thing. I lost for I lost ten pounds my first day after running my liver module. I ran my liver module and I woke up and I was ten pounds lighter instantly. Now that doesn't happen to all the clients. Most of them are having like a three to five pound loss once we run the liver panel. And so I said, no, 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 this is a real possibility for her to experience this. I do quantum biofeedback, and this is the results that I have seen. This is what's experienced in my clinic. And they got vicious, and I actually got blocked. I got blocked. They don't want the help. It's that echo that keeps coming up is that women can't be free. Women aren't supposed to be uh, they're supposed to stay at home. They're supposed to take care of the family. They're not supposed to be beautiful. And so some of the women that we're processing, a lot of them is, is that they don't realize how beautiful they are because they've been told not to be. They've either had an ex-husband who didn't want them to be because they didn't want them being attractive to other men, or they had a mother who was sexually abused, 
and didn't want her daughter to be beautiful because she didn't want the same thing to happen to her daughter. But now this isn't going to come out in the first session. These are things that we uncover as the awareness increases, and they're able to say, oh my God, I had a memory. I had a memory. My mother treated me so horrible. She would do this to me, that to me. Now I understand because she was sexually abused. She didn't want me to be sexually abused, so she was creating me because she thought it was going to be safer for me. So we have to be really strong as biofeedback practitioners, too, to be able to help women and men through that process because we don't know what memory is blocking them. We don't know what belief they have that's preventing that potential, what's keeping their vibration low. So when, we, when we're seeing the imbalances in the stress, we're raising the consciousness through awareness so that they can have an actual shift in their reality. This is a tool that once you do it with greater health and fitness, you'll see that you'll be able to do it through all areas of your life. You'll do it in all areas. You'll have a shift in your consciousness and then it seems like everything changes. So when it works with the weight loss, what it's doing is it's uncovering unconscious beliefs. It's uncovering the stress. It's uncovering hidden emotions. So we deal with a lot of incest. We deal a lot with sexual abuse. And we deal a lot with physical abuse, right? When they come in for a biofeedback, nothing else has worked for them. And so we're uncovering those energies for them. So when we're uncovering that emotion that's making them do a certain thing over and over again, that thing no longer exists. It automatically changes. Memories are the same way. A lot of women who have been hurt will compartmentalize. And they'll put things in certain areas of the brain. But here's the thing. Your body is a walking testament every single day of your state of consciousness. Every single morning when you wake up, you wake up with this thought and you're bringing in your mom, your dad, your work, your brother, your husband, your money, your job. Boom. Now I'm velvet again. But if I wake up with a new idea about myself, I wake up into a possibility of experiencing something different. And how do I know that to be true? See this hair right here? This hair didn't look like this. So weight loss was a part of it, but then all of a sudden what happened is that my hair color changed. My hair color changed almost instantly. My hair is longer almost instantly. So it wasn't just the weight loss people were seeing, they were like, hey, you know, what kind of hair color do you have on your hair? I love it. And I'm like, oh no, honey, this is all natural. And this is, this is how I used to want my hair, but it never would be that way, right? And it wasn't growing, it was short, because I had decided on who I was going to be from here on out. Every day I wake up, this is who I am, I'm successful. I'm successful. And I, I'm going to present that successfulness in, but I also, let me put it to, to you this way. If you're doing anything in your life, and you want to impact other people's lives, it has to shift in you first in order for you to help them with achieving that new vibration. And that's really important to hear because when you have a doctor who tells you, you know, smoking's really unhealthy for you. You really should not be smoking. And then you see him at a restaurant and he's smoking. You're like, wait a minute. Okay, you just told me I needed to stop smoking, but you're not doing it. So everything that I tell that my clients they can do, I do first. Because as my vibration raises, I'm raising theirs. So I, I always tell my practitioners, you have the ability to transform energy just by entering the room. But it cannot transform if we're bringing in old behaviors, old memories, old emotions, because you're going to only continue to vibrate at that level. So you have to work with yourself first. So with the biofeedback, how it's working with weight loss is it's increasing your vibration. It's increasing your frequency because now you're not vibrating at a lower level because you've dealt with those negative emotions. You've dealt with those negative memories. 
You've dealt with letting go with what no longer serves you to how you want to present yourself in life, right? Same thing with money. And, you know, you could use this with all of those, but I had a CPA that I worked with, and um, his life was shambles. He had a broken down truck. He was getting thrown out of his apartment, and he couldn't find a job. He had just been fired. And he says, but I'm set on handling other people's money. And I looked at him, and I said, you're not handling my money. And how could you expect anybody else to want to handle your, their money when you're not handling your own money because you're not applying what you want them to do? So that vibration that he was in was a lower vibration of lack. And I know that to be true because we gave our money to, uh, I'm not going to name who the people were because it's a big company. And we said, okay, we're going to have you invest this money. And I told my husband, I said, you know, I just really didn't get a good feeling about this guy. You didn't even talk to him. He goes, oh, no, no, no. I trust him. I'm going to just let him do what he needs to do. He's been doing this forever. And I said, but that doesn't matter. There's something about his vibration I didn't like. This is hard because six months later, we lost $150,000. So I said to my husband, I said, you got to pull the money out. you got to reinvest it somewhere else. you got to take this out somewhere else. He goes, no, 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 I have that invested over here. And, you know, it's just a loss right now, but it's going to be okay. Six months later, not only did we lose another $150,000, but that guy was fired. They sent a letter out saying he's no longer with the company. And then years later, we found out that he was embezzling money. It's important to understand where a person is coming from, feel their energy. But the only way you're going to be able to do that is to know your energy, know your values. Because if I come up to your energy and I'm like, you know, he feels like he's got a pretty good energy. I can vibrate to that. I'm going to welcome that until he proves to me otherwise. But people are always proving to you where they are energetically. So we increase the frequency by bringing greater awareness. <clears throat> Now, I create modules designed to help move you out of that frequency, out of that movement. So when we're doing the biofeedback, I do liver module because I do the liver because that's the number one organ that holds anger. And if we don't release the anger, we will always keep reinventing that anger over and over again. Right? So I clear the liver up first. Then we do emotional release. We do trauma release. Then we do endotoxins, parasites. Parasites just aren't the bugs inside your body. They're the parasites that are energetically feeding off of you. And there are a lot of them out there. So when I see parasites come up, I instantly say, where are you hanging out with somebody who's not good for you? And they always tell me, right? They tell me, so we release that so that now I can anchor the light. And I have a module that actually anchors their new state of being. And the transformation in these people is just amazing. And then what I do is the next module that I do is allowing them freedom in expressing this new energy so that they can be free. Because until we become mindful and aware, we're always going to be a prisoner. We're going to be a prisoner to other people's thoughts and feelings. And we're going to be a prisoner to our own beliefs and feelings and thoughts. So, time to mess up for me, but do we have any questions? Comments? No? Okay. Okay. No questions. Yes. Okay, so you're talking about doing a liver module or panel, or you say you did it. Yeah. What, how do you go about that? Do so, yeah. So, it's something that I created where I found my information and created a special panel that goes in and clears energetically the liver. And I do that through meridians. And the meridians are on the biofeedback. So I go in, do the liver meridian, find out where the imbalance is, and then I go and find out what will support them and what emotion is creating that imbalance. So I create a cocktail. It's an energetic cocktail. And I sit it there, and then we reintroduce it 
into the quantum field so that you can say, oh, that feels good. And when you're saying that doesn't feel good, there's a number on my device that tells me that you don't like that feeling. And so I'll go back and I'll say, hmm, okay, let's bring a little bit more awareness to this. Maybe he needs something a little bit juicier in there. So I'll go and I'll grab it and I'll put it in there. And then all of a sudden your energy begins to move. And we can see the alignment because there's numbers that tell us how, uh, how your energy is flowing and how much in alignment you are. So it's pretty cool. We're in the tent out here. And I had to bring extra people this year because in May or April when I was here, I had people that were wanting to just have the RS game, and I couldn't get to them all. So I've invited a bunch of women. So if you guys were to come and get an RS game, you'll be able to see that number and how that moves. Yeah. It's really cool. And you do see your colors, but you also see your colors clear up as well. And, okay, I'll make this promise to everyone. So if you've got a scan today, and let's say I saw a lot of uh, muddiness in your arm, I won't leave you like that today. I'm going to make sure that you are vibrating at least as high as that you safely can vibrate and still function and go drive home today. Right? We don't want to push anybody off the edge. Right? And you're in control. You're in control. You've made the choice to change when you showed up. So everything is in your control. Yeah, that's a good question too. And we do the same thing with the emotions and with endotoxins and with parasites. It's a complete module that I created to run through and we do the same thing. All right, yes. So what is it that we have to, I guess I'm kind of confused. We do quantified feedback. Quantum by feedback, it's right there out in the tent. Mm -hmm. And everything that I talked about is what we do, raising your vibration. Right? We bring a greater awareness so that you can see where your blocks are, what's causing you stress. We help to shift that by raising your vibration. Yeah. Yes? Okay, so I see that you're a massage therapist as well. Uh -huh. Does this help with um, your clients? Because I'm a massage therapist also. And so I noticed that sometimes with them, um, it's more than just the muscles. They have emotional... You got it. Okay. So you got it. And everything begins with emotions. So if our emotions are stuck, we're going to have a physiological response in the body. So as a massage therapist, when you see a client who's not being able to release their stress, we have a muscle panel. We have a skeletal panel. Right? So you need to come talk to me after you're done because it's good. It's good stuff. And you'll be amazed with how you'll be able to help your clients in their transformation. Yes. Awesome. Are y'all good? Okay. Thank you guys so much.